Hey everyone, welcome back to Dim Boys Fishing. Last video I put out was the mounting of the trick steps to my Phoenix 920 Pro XP. I had some questions come in about towing. How far is it from the hitch? How high are the steps? Several questions that are really good questions that I look for when I was doing the research for the trick steps that I couldn't quite find. So I thought I'd make a video to share some of those with you. Hopefully it will help you in your research. At the end of the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Give us a thumbs up. All right, everyone, as you can see, I decided to go with the B&W trailer hitches, the tow and stow model. I went with a five inch drop, mainly because anything lower than that, I was not able to hook the trailer to the truck and actually uh, retract the, uh, the wheel jack. So it's not perfectly level. As you can see here, it is almost level there which is fine for me is a, a big improvement over the standard two inch drop that uh, I was using. And I'm trying to freehand this, so bear with me just a moment. I'm gonna try and get the, uh, the tape measure out here so you can see. So from the ground to the bottom of the hitch, you can see is roughly 15 inches. From the center point of the hole in the resitch to the front is about nine inches to the center of the ball. I'm going to say is about ten and a half inches long. With the trick steps here, from the ground to the bottom. You can see is a right at 11 inches. So you got about 11 inches of ground clearance from the distance of to from my truck, which is a 2012 Chevy 2500 from the distance of the bumper to the trick steps themselves is roughly 30 inches, 29 maybe. 29 and a half, somewhere in that range. So as you can see from a viewpoint back a little bit, where it kind of lines up, it kind of lines up with the front nose of the boat. And going up, looking down the side, you can kind of see the angle. It does not stick out farther than the wheel well. So that'll come in really handy when towing. So now let's take it up the road, make a few turns with it, backing up, give you the distance uh, from the bumper to the trick steps when you're trying to back it in. All right, as you can see, I've got the boat kind of jackknifed a little bit getting into uh, my driveway. I can't imagine me needing to jackknife it any more than that. But as you can see here with the bumper, the one that would or may hit the bumper is that middle step. And even jackknifing at this angle, it's roughly eight inches away from the bumper. And you can see how tight that is on that side. Obviously it's only gonna come into play when you're backing it up on the passenger side of the truck. So, I have no qualms whatsoever about going with the B&W trailer hitch. The tow and stow, I really like the features of being able to stow it away from uh, hitting your leg. So, I'll give you another angle here. 
you can kind of see how jackknifed it is. On this side here, just a different view there. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you really found this information helpful. Uh, I, one thing that I did not mention, but I kind of alluded to during the video, if your boat uh, will allow you to lower your tailgate uh, or you know, raise your trunk, if it's an SUV, with the front of the boat, you should have no problem whatsoever with the trick steps. Uh, as you know, on this boat, this Phoenix 920 Pro XP, uh, they do not extend beyond the nose of the boat. So I hope you guys found this video informational. It will help you in your research. Please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for the next video.